I've been to Newi, I've been to the industrial hub of Aba, I've seen what the East can do. We will be proud to say, made in Aba, produced in Aba, made in Nigeria. And we will all be proud citizens. And the economy of the East will be a net contributor to the center. A number of times we've accused the North of being the problem of this country. We've accused them of not speaking the truth. But I bet you, the man you're about to listen to will blow your mind. This man has unbundled the problem in this country. Yeah, I know we are protesting to end bad government. I know we want to see this country prosper. But the truth about the matter is, this protest we are protesting will have no meaningful result until this country is unbundled. We need to unbundle this system we are currently operating. Nigeria was not created to progress. Nigeria was not created to prosper. Nigeria was created to be against her citizen. Nigeria was created to favor just few elites. And that is the reason why we are where we are today. So I want you to listen to this man. I'll be back at the end of the video to give my own sense about everything he has said. And the honest truth to me is simple. That we can accuse each other. We can point fingers. The question is, who is actually better off? I'm a northerner. I'm from Kano State. And I have been accused by colleagues and brothers in a very civil political discussion of dominating the polity, dominating the economy, and dominating the security. So I asked the question, if I dominate the polity, I have the president. Yes, I have the executive council and appointees that are constitutional, just like every other state. But what is my economic situation? And what is my security situation today? So the question is, is it working for me if I dominate somebody? It's not. The question is, look at all the indices of development. The North today is actually worse off. Security, education, prosperity, development. I don't know. What have you? The North is not very well positioned. In fact, other part of the country that have been pushed off in opposition space have managed to organize themselves into a survival mode and come up with a credible economic and development model. So I will say to you that, look, I think this country needs to be reviewed and I think need to be fairly and equitably structured. I've always advocated for what I call development federalism. Development federalism, in my view, is a consensus by the six regions and Abuja to create a development template over time and devolve power gradually to the regions and to the states. The truth of the matter is, we all need to go back to our states. If all the states are working, the federation will be working. Because development is not in isolation. Everywhere you go is either a local government or the state. So if you devolve power to the local government and to the states, and then create an economic investment template in the form of development federalism, which basically bring the potential of South-South to be an oil and gas hub in Africa. We will stop importing petroleum products. We will stop importing things that we should be exporting. And we will become net exporters of that product. The Southeast, we all know, are very ingenious people with technology, manufacturing, and trading. Please, let us invest heavily. Let us leverage on our resources to and raise the capital to invest heavily in manufacturing so that we don't import things from India. We don't import things from China. We import and we produce these things we need for agriculture and for our transportation and other industrial machinery in the East. It's doable. I've been to Newi. I've been to the industrial hub of Aba. I've seen what the East can do. We will be proud to say, made in Aba, produced in Aba, made in Nigeria. And we will all be proud citizens. And the economy of the East will be a net contributor to the center. The same thing with the Southwest. Southwest dominantly is a manufacturing and marine economy. Singapore is exactly like that. And therefore, if we develop the marine economy, the ports and the manufacturing base of the Southwest, we will be net exporters of goods and services and service providers in marine. And therefore, the Southwest economy will become net contributor. If you take the three regions of the North, Central, East and West, and you take the three countries of Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam, our economy is almost the same thing. So, and these countries are booming individually. If you invest today in these regions, in agriculture, agro-processing and organized market with the standards for exports, standards for feed in Africa, we're even lucky that the African continental free trade argument is in effect. 
we have the whole of African market to ourselves and the world, we will be one of the richest regional zones in Nigeria. Therefore, the North will now become net contributor to the center. And Abuja can maintain our sovereignty, can maintain our identity, can maintain our defense, can maintain our currency, and we raise the flag. Now I am saying honestly, the structure of this country is not working. I don't want to be accused even when I am suffering. I want my people to wake up and rise up and feel proud, just like every other Nigerian will feel proud when that sense of ownership is created. We should review. After all, the amalgamation has expired. The question is to be reviewed by the National Assembly. So the question is, what is the process? Now, there are three different dynamics going on. The first one is the National Assembly has set up a very, very credible committee reviewing the Constitution. The question is, can they change Nigeria to a point where they can change the such that the structure can say, we don't want two bodies in the National Assembly. Can they do it? We want to save cost and have only one unicameral body. Can they do it? So can they meet the aspiration of this change? For proper contents, his name is Engineer Muazu Ahmed Magaji. In 2010, President Gulok Ebele Jonathan appointed him as a Shopee project coordinator where he served between 2010 and 2013. He was also appointed as a senior special assistant on project planning and monitoring between 2013 and 2015 by Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso when he was a governor of Kanu State. He's from Kanu State and I'm shocked to see that someone from Kanu State is talking about restructuring, is talking about federalism. Not only federalism, but true federalism. And this is what we need to implement in this country. Because the current structure of this country is not going to make this country to prosper. Nigeria will not go far as long as we keep operating on this same system of government. Ever since the commencement of this protest, some persons have come on social media and they are asking, what about the governors? Why are people not protesting to hold their governors accountable? You need to understand the structure, the current structure of this country. The way this country is structured, the governors are just there, just for ceremonial purposes. Whatever they do is not going to add development in the country. Their overall performance in their various states will be rendered useless, almost useless, by what is being done on the center. And let me give you for instance, we are currently experiencing inflation. The reason why we are experiencing inflation was because of the devaluation of the Naira and the increase of the interest rate from 18% to 34%. The state governors did not increase the interest rate. The state governors did not devalue the Naira. The state governors did not increase the inflation to 40%. The president did. So have you seen the reason why whatever the state governors are doing and whatever the president is doing, that of the president will definitely overshadow what the state governors are doing? Let's look at the food inflation for instance. There are several factors that contributed to the food inflation we are experiencing today. Number one of it is insecurity. The state governors are not in charge of security. The federal government is in charge of insecurity. The state governors are not in charge of the import duties. The federal government is in charge of the import duties. The state governors are not in charge of interest rates. The federal government is in charge of the interest rates. The insecurity, the interest rate, the import duties. These are the things that are responsible for the food crisis we are currently having today. For instance, insecurity has made farmers not to go to farm. Farmers in the North Central are being killed in their thousands. The federal government is doing nothing about it. The state government has nothing to do about the security of the country. That is the reason why we are having insecurity all over the country. So this is what Engineer Mwazu Magaji is saying. We need to unbundle this system. If we must move as a nation, if we must prosper as a nation, we need to stop this current system of governance we are operating. We need to restructure this country. True federalism is the best that Nigeria currently needs. We have been operating this system of governance for a very long time and it has led to the underdevelopment of this country. Nigeria has the true potential to become a great country, but the current system of government is not allowing Nigeria to progress as a country. The idea of always going to Abuja to collect allocation to feed the whole nation is not sustainable at all. The idea of going to Abuja to collect money to feed the National Assembly is not sustainable at all. We need to ensure that each state controls their own resources. This will create room for healthy competition. It will lead to more enterprise. Restructuring Nigeria will stop this over-dependence on oil. The reason why Nigeria is not progressing is because we are so much dependent on oil. 
everybody eyes on the oil. Imagine the president currently is the petroleum minister. Tinibu was the petroleum minister and it did not go well for our country. Look at what we are struggling with first subsidy. Just because first subsidy was removed, Nigeria is currently experiencing hunger crisis. No, we cannot continue like this anymore. Regionalism is the best way to go. States should be allowed to control their own resources. They will be contributing to the center for maintaining of security. There are other things that will be added to the exclusive list. There is no how this country can develop when you come to the south and get revenue from alcoholic beverages and you take that same revenue and share it to people in Kano and other northern states that don't believe in taking alcohol. We cannot grow in this kind of manner. We need to unbundle this country. We need to change the system. Only then can we progress as a nation. But I'm very very happy that this thing is coming from a northerner. It shows that the time is now because for a very long time, the North, they've resisted the idea of regionalism. They've resisted the idea of true federalism. We cannot continue like this because this is dragging us back as a nation. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.